A bill banning fracking on Hawaii Island got the okay from a Hawaii County Council committee on Tuesday. The Puna community has been raising concern about fracking on the island for a while now. Uh, everybody over there knows about it, and they all know about uh, enhanced geothermal systems, which is fracking. And uh, a lot of people deny, no, no, we don't want to frack. Don't believe that for a minute. That video is from a few months ago. Robert Petrici is the president of the Puna Pono Alliance, one of the prominent organizations standing opposed to geothermal energy development on the island. You know, what we really need is regulation. We need oversight. We need to take care of the problems. Fracking, also known as hydraulic fracturing, is the process of forcing fractures into a rock layer, usually by pressurized fluid. Lately, in lands far from Hawaii, it's been used to force oil and natural gas from shale. But concerns have been raised over the safety of fracking and the effects on the environment. And it's believed by many that the next wave of geothermal development may employ a form of fracking, also known as advanced geothermal systems. They've drilled uh, lots of exploratory wells around Puna, and they've only ever found one commercial resource, which is the one that PGV uses now. All of the other wells haven't been commercially viable for conventional geothermal. What they have found is hot rock. And that's why they want to get rid of geothermal subzones so they can go wherever they want to do this new enhanced geothermal. And now the island is taking its opposition to the next level. Hawaii County Councilwoman Brenda Ford is proposing a ban on fracking on the Big Island. There are absolutely no regulations in the state on fracking. The state has the legal right to issue the permits for geothermal ex exploration. But they, that does not include frac fracking. There are no, no legislation on fracking at all. And there's no legislation at the federal level on fracking, period. No place. The measure drew lots of testimony in favor, mostly from residents of Puna, who are in general against geothermal industry in their backyard. Senator Russell Rudiman was there to testify. The Puna senator spoke about his recent attempts to address fracking at the state legislature. The bill never even made it to committee. There was um, the chair of the Water and Land Committee chose to not allow my bill to come up for a, a vote. Um, in the course of reviewing the testimony over it, there was really only one bit of opposition to it, which came from a representative of a geothermal developer, IDG, who submitted a piece of testimony that was very curious in that it adamantly condemned my attempt to pass a fracking ban as, as absurd and unnecessary, and on the same page says that that company has no interest in fracking. But that was the only testimony against my fracking bill from the entire state. That chair would be Senator Malama Solomon. For Margaret Willey, it's a home rule issue. When this goes forward and someone says, hey, it doesn't matter what those kids down in the county are doing, sort of what, what is, do you have any comments or how sort of dealing with this in, in, on that level? Well, I think it, it will send an important message that, uh, first of all, the concern is real, that Hawaii County cares about home rule and protecting its own resources here and our own health. Uh, I think it would be a much harder to, uh, to counteract that if we make the strong statement of banning fracking here. I think it would sort of cause all the other dominoes to fall. But to my mind, the important thing is that any state regulation, there's no state regulation whatsoever now. And any attempt at state regulation might be blocked by the same special interest that blocked it last year. So I think it's a very crucial opportunity to exercise home rule because when you look at it from a statewide point of view, it's not just Pune that is disparaged and willing to be sacrificed over there. It's the whole big island. you know. So it's, it's appropriate, I believe, for the county council to take this action to protect an imminent threat that's only uh, facing this island at this time. Brenda Ford says her bill is not just about geothermal. It's far more um, pervasive than that. It covers water, and by the way, I talked to the chief engineer at the Department of Water Supply. They do not use fracking. He was adamant, not interested in doing fracking. Okay, but on the mainland, they do it for oil, for gas, um, could be for minerals, 
and obviously geothermal, which we have here. The bill had the support of the council committee. I just don't think we should be drilling into our INA and fracturing it and uh, causing problems that we may never be able to change. And we're 2,000 miles out here in the Pacific, uh, the Pacific and I'm born and raised on this island. I love this island. I, I, I don't want to go anywhere. And, um, I certainly don't want to be on a, stuck on an island that's had this uh, um, type of activity that's called ma that's, that could cause massive negative effects. In the future, more research, more understanding, higher regulation, it's a different conversation. We have that conversation at that time. But until then, um, we should take care of this now. So I don't really have anything else to say. I support this. I read about the large amounts of water that they need for fracking and then the potential for contamination of our drinking water aquifers, and then the effects on the air, where this is going on, burning eyes, sore throats, and other illnesses. Um, you know, why should we take the chance on our island? I've heard a lot of horror stories about fracking, as, as you all know. I, this, is, this is a bill that Puna wants to support, and I see the whole island wants to support and I will also be supporting this bill. I think we need to be very, very careful here, and uh, um, although I don't totally understand all about this, I, I can feel that this is um, a good thing that we make a, a statement for our county at this time, that we don't want to see this type of technology used here. And um, hopefully we can make some kind of impact on the state as well. So I just want to thank everybody for coming here and supporting this and that we um, care for our island and care for those who will be here in the future and the web of life. Um, I'll do the best I can. <clears throat> I've already sent a copy of the first, the draft one went to the senator and I will make sure that draft two goes to the senator and I will continue my conversations with him. Um, so thank you everyone. The bill now goes to the full council with a positive recommendation.